Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Yes, this video shout out goes to Kate Alyssa. Thank you for your continued support. And real quick announcement. Yes, we are going to dive into confusion because that constant confusion by the abuse and chaos and drama and all of that that the narcissistic abusers are throwing out and the enemy is throwing out out there it it can lead to headaches yes and we know that god is not the author of confusion but for you all who have been wanting to know how the trauma bond is formed the course is now up and running at cha consulting for heightened awareness academy yes we are bringing you all biblical and scientific truths with God's wisdom and scientific facts. Just like I say in the welcome video over there and at CHA Academy. We are bringing to you all the information that not only helped myself but has helped others in the healing process. So it's leveling up the healing and spiritual growth. Because once we get a better understanding of what is going on up there during the trauma bonding process, it'll be easier to break trauma bond. Once we understand why it's so difficult to break that trauma bond. Because there's a lot of things going on neurologically that is exactly like what a drug, how a drug addiction occurs. Because God gave us a lot of things that are supposed to help us stay emotionally regulated but when one or more components in our biological makeup becomes altered or dysregulated on a regular basis and trauma does that okay it will cause a dysregulation in the normal functioning of God the natural internal thing he gave us that are supposed to work together. And see, remember, the enemy is the enemy of division, right? Yes. So he does that through the abuse that traumatizes people. He'll do that by dividing the normal neurotransmitter system. That's right. By inducing one neurotransmitter that it won't be able to do its normal job for the mediation between the others. See, they're all God designed our biological body so strategically. And the enemy knows this too. So there's a lot that goes into that. And we've got that all over there to bring you all some scientific facts. And, you know, no, we're not going to use, we don't utilize all big sophisticated words. No, I give you all the key players. I give you all the points by point. You will get bullet pointed notes for each lesson. Yes, yes. And you'll get a certificate of completion at the end of the course. And there will be new courses added as they become available and ready to help you overcome trauma. Because, it's like I said before, healing from trauma is totally 100% possible. So sometimes it just takes more, you just need a little bit more information. And then how it connects with what God's wisdom is. And it's a beautiful, beautiful harmony when it comes together and helps to, ah, oh, okay, now you understand what's going on. And then you won't get trauma bonded to another abuser armed with the knowledge and the wisdom that you need but let's go ahead and cover the scripture where god is not the author of confusion and that is in 1 corinthians 14 and we'll go 32 and 33 for you all to meditate on as the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets for god is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all churches and saints. Amen. So when God is not the author of confusion. And you have said before. Because the Holy Spirit can't get through. That's one of the big reasons why the enemy loved to induce that heavy cloud of com uh, con cognitive dissonance. Okay. That confusion. So over at Ch uh, CHA Academy now. 
you'll find topics like that. Understanding cognitive dissonance, understanding the ego, understanding dopamine, understanding other things. Okay, I'm breaking it down step by step for you all. And I do highly recommend, just like with these videos, you all grab yourself a notepad and a pen or however it is you take notes. So that you can take notes and have them to go back to as well. Alright everyone. But the enemy loves to do that. And it's through all the contradictions obviously. And so we learn this. And it all starts on that individual level. With the individual narcissistic abuser. As God is starting to wake us up to what's really going on. And so then we learn to stop justifying their bad behaviors. Right? Yes we do. We learn to see it for what it is. That's right. Now, as it continues, think about this, you all. We talk a lot about how a lot of the abusers, especially the part-time ones, are really crept in unawares. They don't even know. They, they, they can't see. Because all that confusion put blinders on. That's the worldview blinders. And so, as many have been conditioned to believe the lies and the deceit that the enemy dishes out, just like we all got duped with the narcissistic abuser, especially during the beginning when the narcissistic abuser would tell us, uh, you know, whatever story they have in their head. And they, it's kind of funny, because they actually rehearse this in advance, just so you all know. Yes, they do. So, for anyone who's wondering that, yes. These narcissistic abusers rehearse and rehearse and over and over again in their mind the role that they want their target to play and the role that they are going to play, play acting. There you go. So after they've recited it and, and kind of gone over it over again in their mind and they've got it really down pat, then that's what, you know, that's their blinders. <laughs> best way I could put it that's their blinders so what they're doing is then they come at you they've got this story already ready and scripted out that's why it's so believable at first you all that's right that's why it's so believable because of the fact that they have rehearsed it over and over and over and over and over again and I remember a lot of us started to pick up on that now, it's one thing if you are scripting out for, a, an, um, let's just say, an infomercial or an ad or a commercial. Or if you're scripting out for, you know, like a movie. Or if you're scripting out, and I'm talking about, I know, it, it's just an uncanny similarity there with narcissistic abusers now, isn't there? <laughs> However, we do know you've got actors and actresses out there that put great movies together and stuff like that. If, if you're still in the entertainment, then that, that, that's your world. It's just the way it is. Everybody's at different phases in their life, you know, different stages of life. A lot of us, you know, we, we outgrow that kind of stuff. That's just the way it is. So... You know, it goes with that to each his own kind of thing, right? There you go. But we also, we, when we get God's reality, we don't let ourselves get trauma bonded to another, another matrix. Okay, that's on a societal level. And we also learn what we need to learn so we do not keep getting trauma bonded to abusers. That's right. You know, y'all know we're big on pushing back against that. That's why we have the brand breaking the trauma bond to the world. Because all of those, all the concepts that go into that, and it helps to undo that confusion that the enemy induced. Okay? That was that. It was just, and it's, it's amazing when it dawns on you how slow and subtle that process truly is and it's like ah uh, you know how like the enemy he likes to be crafty <laughs> so the narcissistic abusers they think they're being sneaky but we again we we can, we're starting to see through this stuff and learning all the red flags and and whatnot and everything else that we need to learn along with god's wisdom once we do that, things start to really make better sense. <laughs> Logic and reasoning. Because, see, the, all that confusion, that constant confusion, it, you know, it, the enemy does not want people to use their logic and reasoning. The enemy wants people to act on impulse, right? 
So the enemy wants to cause whatever ailment, meaning, you know, like you know, like a headache or whatever, because of that confusion. And oh, because over time it will do that. I mean, there's other things that go into it. I'm talking spiritually, you all. We are talking about the spiritual aspects, okay? That's what we're referring to here. So just to keep it in perspective for you all, spiritually speaking, there you go. Where God is not the author of that confusion. But that confusion over time, it will it can lead to, to headaches as well. So we want to always be mindful of that. And so because the, the enemy wants you to act on impulse and go and get become reliant on all things external. After all, what do we realize narcissistic abusers are? They are heavily dependent on all things external. And the reason being is because when you are with God, you've got, you've got the Holy Spirit, you've been reborn in Christ, you're walking with Christ, you are 100% with the Godhead, focused on pleasing God and only God. Once that happens, you, we realize that, oh, okay, we, have all, we already have everything we need in us. God already gave it all to us, but you got to be with God, right? And how do you get to God? Like we say often, that's right, through Jesus. Jesus is the mediator between us and God. So these narcissistic abusers, they, they get tricked into becoming dependent on all things external just so they can feel like they exist. It's like, okay, yo, we can see you, the biological being there, but we don't see. There's nothing, there's, there, it's like there's no soul there. It's, it's an uncanny thing, but it's just the way it is. And, and that happens when they are spiritually dead. When a person is spiritually dead, they, are, they don't have any life in them. You will see a lifeless look in their eyes. And it's just, it is sad. We continue to pray for them. As always, we pray, we pray, we pray. That, and turn it over to God. There isn't anything we can do. That's out of our control. That's another thing, survivors, we all learn. Okay, fellow warriors? We all learn that it, it takes a little while, especially when you're trying to break that trauma bond. But we eventually do. And once we do, we realize, you know what? That, uh, that God going to have to take care of that. I gotta, you know, we we, we got to get in our purpose. We got to figure out what that is. We got to get in it. Because I'm here to remind you all, again, just like I said in the previous video, that once you get in your purpose, oh, you're going to fall in love with it. You are. Because you know that that purpose is from God. And see, when a person is heavily confused, well, then they can't get in the purpose. They won't be able to discover it. See, there's a, not, there's a lot of things that go into why the enemy loves to keep people in a constant state of confusion. And believe it or not, even those who are trauma bonded to a matrix, mm-hmm, even those who are trauma bonded to a matrix are unaware that they are confused. I will let that sink in. They are crept and unaware that they too are confused. Yep. So what that means is whatever crowd they've decided to conform to, they're trauma bonded to it, that belief system that goes along with that, that lie, it really is full, well, everything is, is truth mixed with lies with the enemy, okay? <laughs> everything is a truth mixed with lies when it comes to the enemy. And then, of course, we know that the devil is a liar, and so are the narcissistic abusers. But there's also that element of truth mixed with lies, and that is to make the lies believable. So in whatever crowd they got themselves trauma bonded to, the belief system going to have those truths mixed with lies to make the lies believable. So they won't even know. They're crept and unaware that that is a big deception. They won't even know that. But they will have, because of the truth mixed with lies, a little bit of truth there, they will have access to a little bit of common sense, a little bit of that logic and reasoning. But, that's right, they're still going to be under a, a completely false belief system. 
And a lot of them have been tricked into thinking that they are with God. But no, they're not worshipping the Heavenly Father. They're worshipping the Prince of Darkness. And they don't know it. Crept and unaware. Because of that confusion. That's right. So, this is why it's so important. Another reason why it's so important when God tells us in Romans 12, 2, that we are to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And a lot of that so that God can continue to, you know, clear out those cobwebs, continue to lift that cloud of cognitive dissonance, all that confusion to help us start to see things as they really are. Not walking by sight. No, 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 no. Okay, walking by sight. Again, you all, that is mainly and most importantly judging things and people by outward appearances. That's walking by sight. No, we're walking by faith, but God is showing us what he does need us to actually see. Not to necessarily, be, because he needs us to distinguish between the physical and the spiritual first. Because if we don't distinguish between the spiritual and the physical first, how in the world is he going to be able to help us balance the physical and the spiritual? That's right. We have to first be made aware, that heightened awareness. We have to first be made aware of it. So God needs to renew our mind. Get rid of that confusion. So that we can become aware of the enemy's shenanigans. Be able to spot them when they're happening. A lot quicker too. So everybody hang in there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's coming. Oh yes, it is. So that's why we tell y'all to keep on keeping on. Keep going. Keep going. Do not give up on your healing process. The enemy wants you to do that. And yes, I know it. I think it, we might have a little thunderstorm coming, and that's all right. So, anyhow, just know that, you all. All right, as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father, and you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.